For this year's Zero Energy Challenge, we had three winners in categories such as lowest cost per square foot, highest envelope, and of course, lowest hers index. They're all fantastic homes. What was very interesting in, in talking to Nick Jones at Eversource, who's the Zero Energy Challenge Administrator, is just how close the top three winning homes were this year. My name is Jan Degenschein, and I'm proud to say that I'm the architect, the builder, and the owner, along with my wife, Allison, of this beautiful home. I entered the Zero Energy Challenge after being encouraged by my Raider. We bill ourselves generically as energy consultants. This home for Jan and Allison um, was relatively modest. Wide open floor plan, very basic overall design on the outside. This particular case, it was slab, so it is thermally isolated. There is insulation around the perimeter and underneath the entire thing. Allison and I are not in want of great detail. We have a minimalist theory about the design, both interior and exterior. The house is framed very much like a house would be framed. As a matter of fact, there's some guiding features in the house that bring the cost down. Instead of having wood frame at 16 inches on center, the wood frame is at 24 inches on center. By doing that, there's less chance for thermal transfer from the exterior to the interior than back the other way. They're using insulated sheathing on the outside to knock down the thermal bridging and to add R value. Coming inside, very modest mechanical design, one air source heat pump with two indoor ducted units, an ERV, LED lighting, and air source heat pump domestic water heating system. Once Jan committed to adding the solar system, the final HERS index was actually minus one. I'm just appreciative of the awareness that Eversource and the state of Connecticut together have had in encouraging uh, energy conservation. I never expected to uh, have the fortune of, of being a winner. The homes have a lot of similarities, as, as you'll see when you look at them, in terms of being compact size, very efficient, all using mini-split heat pumps, all using very efficient ventilation systems, heat pump water heaters, and of course, an excellent envelope with high levels of insulation in the walls and triple glazed windows. This home won an award for best overall thermal envelope, and it's really a simple idea. We want to build a house like a thermos. A thermos is built to conserve energy for as long as possible. We um, knew we wanted an energy efficient home, and so it was really important to find somebody who had experience in building energy efficient homes. Jamie Wolf and Janet Downey work together. Jamie is an architect and designs the houses and Janet builds the houses and they work as a great team. They know the ropes when it comes to building high performance, zero energy, even passive house standard homes. So working with Jamie was fantastic. He's very creative. He really listens to what we say. They had told me before, we don't really need a basement. They were right. So this house is built on a slab. I think the layout is, is perfect. Not too big, not too small, just right. We really enjoyed both parts of the process, designing the house with Jamie, and also we really enjoyed being around, watching Janet build the house. We build this beautiful shell, this envelope, and we make sure all the equipment is inside that envelope. Once you've got control over air movement in a home, it becomes so much easier to make it very comfortable. And by the way, there's no combustion taking place here. We use a mini split heating system that provides all the energy for the house using about the energy of a blow dryer. And all the ductwork is inside the envelope of the house. All LED lighting throughout the house, high efficiency appliances, etc. So they came in with a HERS index of 34. They then installed about a six kilowatt photovoltaic system, and that basically zeroed out their energy use and brought the HERS index down to a minus two. We were pleased to be a part of the Connecticut Zero Energy Challenge. We had no idea we would uh, end up winning part of the contest. We hope, no, we need every home to be built this way if we're gonna preserve the future for generations to come. When you add up the scores for all four categories, the home with the lowest total score wins the grand prize, and that was this home. It was really important for us to build an energy efficient home because we're concerned about the environment. The idea of 
burning fossil fuels and polluting the air just didn't sit well with us. We got involved originally through Chris Vernot, who is the architect for this home, when he hooked up with Courtney and Lynn and their interest in building a zero energy home that he called me. And we worked with them in helping to do some early energy modeling. Courtney was very versed in all the uh, aspects and specifications of a net zero house and how it goes together. So th there wasn't a learning curve there to bring Courtney and Lynn up to speed. They were already there. Courtney took a very active interest in this project and he was clearly driving it from the zero energy point of view. Chris was our primary design guy, but there were two other architects in his firm that also added input. And so the three of them gave us options to think about in terms of design. There are a lot of pieces that are unique that have to come together and be done correctly. You need that knowledge and skill set for the various materials, their installation sequence, how things are sealed. It's important to have an architect who has that background and, and skill set. And the firm was great. They just know so much about energy efficient design and solar access and all the things you need to know to design a house like this. It was a very collaborative project from the designing phase through the construction phase. Our original program started off with a first floor master suite and a certain amount of square footage. Of course, the energy efficiency, which includes air sealing, high performance insulation, very efficient mechanical and fresh air system. Just through insulation, very efficient triple glazed windows, heat pump systems, LED lighting, they had a HERS index of 32. And then they were able to add that photovoltaic system to basically take that all the way down to a minus 22. It's not just energy efficient, it's also a very good house to live in. Very quiet, very clean, very comfortable. It's been a gift. I absolutely love my home. Yes, <laughs> our home. <laughs>